we got West Virginia, 18 to one to win the Big 12, six and a half win total. Neil Brown, his ass was on the hot seat this time last year. There's no denying it, but he won out, won nine games, the programs, most since 2016. And he's safe now. And this is a confident fan base that's excited about the future of the program. When Neil Brown was at Troy, you take a look at it. Last year really resembles the year before they won 10 games in back-to-back -back seasons. I'm really bullish on the Mountaineers in 2024. I'm just a sucker for good O-line play, and this might be the best O-line in the conference. Should be a strength, even after losing Zach Frazier and Doug Nestor to the NFL. The offensive line coach there, Matt Moore, deserves a lot of credit. This was an elite rushing team a year ago. Led the conference and was fourth nationally. Garrett Green is one of the better dual threat quarterbacks you've never heard of. I'm buying all of his stock this year. They bring in an OK State transfer, Jaden Bray. Should be a go-to wide receiver. and I like tight end Cole Taylor. Another solid piece in the throw game to work with. But they're going to try and run the rock heavy like they did last year. and This backfield should be really damn good. You got running back C.J. Donaldson. He's a hoss, 6'2", 238. And you got sophomore Jaheim White. Kind of provides lightning and electricity to Donaldson's thunder. And I think that tandem can work really well in this conference. I'm very high on this offense as a whole. I just think they're going to be balanced. And I, I think Garrett Green's going to improve another year in the system. Defensively, this should also be a good unit. They led the Big 12 in sacks a year ago. The staff wasn't complacent, though. They went and added Ty French from Gardner-Webb. A lot of new bodies were added. Um, the secondary, especially transfer portal guys. And that should support what is maybe the best safety duo in the league and Aubrey Burks and Anthony Wilson. Coaching staff and a lot of people around the program are really high on those guys. For West Virginia to take the next step and compete for the Big 12 crown, I want to see more from Green as a passer. You know, 54% completion percentage. It's just not going to cut it. But what a job Neil Brown has done in a year's time. I'm all over the Mountaineers in 2024. I really like them over six and a half wins. I'll be on that. And I'm going to sprinkle some on them to win the league at 18 to 1. That's super juicy. This is a wide open Big 12. I'm hammering them plus 10 and a half week one at home versus Penn State. Love it. I think that's one of the more interesting season openers this year. The schedule is tough, but sometimes in life you got to plant your flag. And that's what I'm doing with West Virginia in 2024. All aboard the hype train. Not many people are talking about them. It's Utah, Kansas State, OK State, even UCF, Tech. They all get mentioned before the Mountaineers, but this is a team, I'm just a sucker for good offensive line play, and they have the best in the league. I think they're going to win this conference this year.